Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for May 2021 for the sign of Libra. Remember these are just message these can just be messages as well, Libra. So let's see what we get for you. I've already pre-shuffled all the cards. So I'm going to choose the first one. What do we have for Libra, please? Angels. Spirit's guides, message for our lovely Li Libra. What is the message from Spirit? Thank you. Okay, first message we have. Choose friends wisely. Okay, what is the message from Spirit, please? For Libra, thank you. May 2021. What is the message from Spirit for Libra, May 2021, please? Love the energy of new beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. Love the energy there. And message for Libra, please, for May 2021. Thank you. What is the message from Spirit for Libra? Thank you. I have number 15, eternal union. New love is forming. Message for Libra, please, angels, spirit guides. Message for our lovely Librans for May 2021. Thank you. Flew out. <laughs> okay, so we have the B. Spread heart healing with joy. Archangel Premenelik. I mean, those are lovely energies. It feels joyful energy, new beginning energy. This is interesting. Choose friends wisely. There could be someone with regard to that you might be trusting or somebody who doesn't have your best interests at heart here, Libra. We have new love forming here as well. Okay. Let's pull some cards. What is the message from Spirit, please, angels? Spirit's guides, what is the message from Spirit, please, for Libra? So I'm going to pull three cards. First card being the message from Spirit. Okay, what do we have for Libra, please? Angels, Spirit's Guides, message for all of the Librans. Thank you. May 2021. Thank you. Got the Four of Wands. Judgment. And we have the Eight of Swords here, Libra. It's interesting, we've got the Nine of Wands, which... Okay. So there is an energy here, Libra. Of the Four of Wands, which is the lovely energy, it is a card of the happy home. Uh, very good in terms of relationships, solid relationships. It can be a card of celebration as well, so engagements, marriage and so on. Um, it's just a lovely energy of harmony. Um, you know, these four corners are, you know, of, of the Four of Wands, uh, a stable, happy home. So it feels really beautiful here. The judgment card can be to do with a decision, a judgment call. So it feels in this situation, there is some judgment call or decision that's needed here. And it's with regard to, it feels to do with a relationship, home. This is a card of 
choosing your path but it's an energy of whatever choice or decision that you make it's a karmic one so it will stay with you for some time so it, it feels you have the opportunity to stay on the path that you're on or go in a different direction that could be the new beginning energy and there's definitely an energy of, of uh, choose wisely The Eight of Swords here can be an energy of somebody who doesn't want to see the truth or not looking at the truth, not wanting to deal with the truth. And yet there's a call to action that's needed with regard to something either within your relationship or something that is affecting your relationship from the external environment. And the Eight of Swords is, it can be a card of negative, negative inhibited thinking. Um, it is air energy, so it's very much like your energy here, Libra. There's almost kind of like an energy of not wanting to see the truth or thinking that... Um, thinking that... If something has happened that has made you feel the victim in a situation, this is how the, that those, your mind can keep you hostage if you're not careful. And there's a need to, to take action, to make some kind of decision and choice. It, it could well be to do with some kind of, it sometimes can be a victim, feeling a victim or being a victim in some ways. I'm getting this energy here, Libra, that that is what you've been focusing on. There's some powerful judgment that you need to make. Because the Nine of Wands is, it's been a difficult journey. You're one wand away from completion. It's been a test of faith. But the message is, you're so close. You're so close to putting down those wands. You're so close to bringing an end to a situation here. Something that has been challenging. It's been a difficult path, a difficult journey. And it feels like the new beginning is opening up here. So there's definitely this energy here, Libra, of, yeah, just keep going with this energy. You're very close to bringing something to a completion. But it's almost kind of like there needs to be action taken. I'm going to clarify this judgment. Okay, Queen of Cups, it feels to do with love, romance, relationships. Four of Wands it can be recovery or giving deep, deep thought on how you move forward. Yeah, and the Eight of Swords, again, it it feels like there is some kind of challenge that you've experienced here, Libra. But this is the Six of Wands, which is a card that you have the opportunity to put it behind you, to face this challenge and put it behind you. But there's some kind of decision that's needed here. What is this new love forming? There's hope. Renewal hope, reasons to be optimistic. So I'm feeling in this energy... It feels like either something within your relationship um, or something that's affected your relationship. There's opportunity to overcome it and put it behind you. It's interesting. I'm getting this choose friends wisely. Let me just... What is this? So it feels... The Nine of Swords is somebody... Somebody who has caused you stress, anxiety, worry, upset. Bottom of this deck, I have the King of Cups. So I have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. It feels like you're one step away from releasing some kind of burden path here. And putting it behind you, claiming some kind of victory, overcoming some kind of challenge here. It feels like, you know, there could be some judgment call either within the relationship or a decision that you need to make as a unit with regard to something that's affected you here. But it feels like there is an opportunity to overcome.
the difficulty that you've experienced. There's still hope here, Libra. There's still hope. And it feels like there's hope, certainly within a relationship here, because the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups are two people who match each other perfectly. I mean, there's deep a deep love connection here. Um, so it, it definitely feels like you can overcome this, you know. Uh, whether, you know, this could be about putting up barriers, blocking... Um, negative thinking towards somebody or a situation or feeling a victim in some respects um, but you have an opportunity to put it behind you this month there's a powerful new beginning and it feels like you're getting the love back but this it feels like there's been a could have been a third party situation or whatever this friend is whatever this person is somebody seems to have caused a lot of distress and it feels it's within your relationship however that manifests for you but there's definitely an energy of you can spread the heart healing joy again there is still hope new love is forming and a powerful new beginning is unfolding so it feels like you're going to come through what has been a challenging time for you as a couple in whatever way this resonates for you it is a message from spirit but this is a card of there is absolute hope have faith a sense of renewal you're being given blessings Lovely energy there, Libra. So I'm going to pull a final message. And obviously it's not meant for everybody, but this is intuitively Queen of Cups, King of Cups, intuitive energy. Intuitively, you know what your heart is telling you. And there's a message of choose from the heart. Any choices, let your heart be your guide. As I said that, this came out. <laughs> Listen to your inner voice as we try to guide you. Use your intuition, number 21. How funny is that? So, very nice energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading, Libra. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.